Please, someone get me some leather doper. They're trying to take my show. Somebody help me. I should be hosting tonight. Quite, 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 quite. With Dr. Ken Phillips is on the air. Long live obscenely high oil prices. Get on the phone. Oh God! I just dreamt I saw Dennis Pizarro. Quite. Good evening and welcome to Quite. I'm Joe Motisi filling in for Dr. Ken Phelps who is on assignment. Well, actually I'm not going to lie to you. Dr. Phelps is kind of passed out on the chair right next to me. Uh, can, can we get a shot of that? I'll have you know I have encephalitis lethargica. I have entered a coma-like state. Yep, uh, apparently too much uh, fun last night there, Ken, huh? Yeah, he, he, he's out like a light, actually. What does he say? He's a lying cat. I was not out last night. I wasn't drinking. Someone sent us some photos of the party, actually. Uh, can, can, can we show those? You know, not that I want to embarrass Dr. Ken Phelps, because it is a pleasure filling in for uh, Dr. Ken Phelps. I, I just think that some of the viewers deserve to know what this guy gets up to uh, off camera. We got these from an anonymous source, actually, um, who happened to be at the same party as Ken. Look at that. Now, he is a doctor of party. He has a PhD in, uh, awesome. I believe uh, the kids call these uh, keg stands. I, I could be wrong. I've been kind of out of the loop for quite some time. Those pictures are a fraud. They're fake. Those pictures are fake. Well, actually, they are fake. They're from a few months ago, and not last night. Okay, well, if um, Dr. Ken Phelps ever wakes up... Joe Motisi is trying to take over my show. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. Quite. This is a hostile takeover. I bet he was the one who gave me this encephalitis lethargica, also known as sleeping sickness. Quite. We're going to be taking your calls tonight at 1-312-738. 1845. Again, that's 312 738 1845. We want to hear from you viewers tonight on tonight's topic, which you can see at the bottom of the screen. So let's get things started. First off, Daniel Wode. Thank How you. How are you, sir? Me, Joe. You're welcome. Thank Dr. Ken Phelps for having you on the program. Thank you, Doctor. Damn you, Joe Motisi. Damn you to hell. I'd like to apologize for not dressing up. See? No, real genius, you know, Einstein wore the same thing every day. Yes. He did. I mean, I don't know him personally. I don't think it was an Ed DeBevick's t-shirt, though. I'm pretty sure it was. Kenneth Ryder, also yes. PhD. Thank Master you. in technology, which is our topic for tonight, folks. Technology. Let's start on technology, in fact. WiMAX versus LTE. Now, this is the talk of the town. You hear this in train stations and bus stations, on park benches, and from transients. This is really what's happening in Chicago today. People are really <clears throat> up in arms about this situation. And um, frankly, I don't see what the big deal is about, I don't see why people are so upset about WiMAX. I don't really see it either, Ken. I really don't see the difference. As long as you can illegally download music and look at porn. The porn and illegal music industry, definitely. I mean, and this is ultimately what drives technology. Yeah. I mean, why do you think Betamax went out? Betamax went out because of the porn industry. Daniel? You got that right, Joe. <laughs> Kenneth? I also agree with that statement, yes. Definitely. Now, WiMAX versus LTE. What's the... N the names. Uh, the names are really what, what's important. WiMAX and LTE. Definitely. Yeah. It's the first thing that you hear when hearing about the situation. Is it true? Is it true? Or is it all just a lie? What's all just a lie? We have a caller, I believe. In the Chicago situation, the, the, is it true, or is it just a big lie? Are we looking at the conspiracy, sir? And please direct one of your comments towards Daniel or Kenneth. They are the experts on the situation. Daniel. Daniel. Is it really a conspiracy? 
or is it just a mass hallucination? Is it just a what of information? Mass hallucination? A mass, yeah. halluc <laughs> a mass hallu hallucination? You're, you're um, read by misinformation from certain fringe outlets. <clears throat> Uh, the thing about misinformation is that you're getting so much information from so many different people that it's really, there's no way to tell which of it is actually information and which of it is actually misinformation. And the thing you have to remember there is just, just take a second and look at all the facts and I'd have to say it is not a mess hallucination. Well, here's the fact. My sir, sir, I can't hear you through the tin foil, please. Drained. You drained day what? By day by the charlatans and insiders of the machine. You cannot deny it. Are you familiar with David Icke, sir? You sound a lot like him. I am not. He sounds okay. like the Scarlet Pimpernel. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I mean, um... Scarlet Pimpernel I'm familiar with. Okay. Yeah. Kind of like the V for Vendetta thing, right, sir? Not at all. Not at all. Okay. I do not have a cape. All right. A key. But you, I, I think yeah. I, I think wearing a cape would get your point across a little bit better. What about my if I disguise my voice? That would that would be good too. But the cape really would kind of put it over the top. I'd Kenny? go with the cape. Yeah. Cape I wish it. I had a pipe like that. You know, um, the pipe is more for effect. Um, mostly, well, I, I feel. Well, Gentlemen in cardigans and pipes oh. are taken a little bit more seriously. If I had a cape tonight, now that would be good. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I got a question for you. All right, Hi. sir. Obama's in the White House. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is in the White House. Black is back. And what is Wamaz's Tabata? Now, you're asking what WiMAX is about. Yeah. Okay, Kenneth? Uh, it's wireless internet for the whole city. That's what it is. It's internet you can believe in. Yeah. Is what it is. It's for free. Well, like the WiMAX, it's like, you know how you have a wireless internet connection? Like if you go to Starbucks and you can get the wireless internet there. Uh, WiMAX will pretty much eventually blanket the whole city. So there, there would be wireless internet connections throughout the city. So that, like, ultimately, that, that's the debate tonight, is WiMAX versus LTE, which are different systems of 4G technology. And what is new LTE terms for? Daniel? LTE, wow, what was your name, sir? Kevin. Kevin? Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, uh, thank you for this question. LTE, as many of us know, stands for Lightning Technology Electronics and the way it's different from WiMAX is that WiMAX takes it a little, a little bit further because it's wireless maximum, it's wireless to the max and LTE it's really more about <laughs> the electronics in the technology Right. Involved. So, what is quiet with Joe Moderson? Why do you call it that? Well, lightning technology, exciting. It, it, it really, if I was going to come out with a wireless internet um, system, I would want lightning in the title because lightning is fast. Yeah. Am, am, am I right? And it's more natural. It's natural. And it looks cool. Yeah. Gotcha. Thanks. You're welcome. Glad to help. Now you see, back on the wireless internet topic that we are on. Now, hi. <clears throat> oh, hello. I have a, hi. I have a question. I, I don't under. Are you smoking something? I am not. What? What? I. I, I am not. I, I. don't usually. This. <clears throat> this pipe is more for effect. I'm not a doctor like Ken Phelps, and I. I thought that I could look more uh, natural with this. Yeah, because the effect is that I, I wonder why there's no smoke coming out of your pipe. Well, I can't smoke indoors. This is Chicago. Yeah, that's a fire hazard. This that's is a, a studio. hazard. This is a studio. We're yeah. making television well, right smoke now. Smoke is really n not good for your lungs. I mean, I it's not. I, just, 
I feel like this whole thing's already a lie because you're you're smoking a fake pipe. No, it's a real pipe. No, it's there's a real just, pipe. Yeah. Just there's nothing in it. Yeah. It's a pipe. Okay, well, I have a question about this this internet crap. It's not crap. It's the way of the future. Okay, yeah. well, is it going to help me get a date with all these online dating services? Because I'm having a little bit of trouble with that. Probably not, no. Well, what what kind of dating service are, are you using? Um, I've been using that special Facebook to um, just have someone show up to your house and sleep in bed with you. Uh, Ma'am, it really depends on what you look like in this society, I believe. Yeah, I mean, all the internet in the world is not going to help somebody out if you're not attractive. Yeah, uh, what and you have to be willing to try new things in the yeah. bedroom. Yeah, that's a good idea, too. I mean, I, I, I gave up on the internet a while ago for dating. So what do you use? Um, I, I talk to people in real life. Mc talk, McDonald's, yeah. you can meet people at the McDonald's or at the library. So the problem is at McDonald's is a little difficult because I'm really, I'm only four foot seven. So I don't okay. want to reach the counter. Um, I would recommend stilts. Stilts or a stepping stool. A stepping stool too. Maybe you could bedazzle it, Daniel. Bedazzling a stepping stool? <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm talking about, bedazzling stepping stools. I mean, maybe just really get out there and hit the streets. Uh, hit the McDonald's and really get yeah. out on the scene. Pound the pavement. and um, Flyering works too. Say, yeah. I'm, you know, that works as well. I mean, um, the last date that the last really date that I had, I got through a flyer. Uh, what was that? Are we there? Hello. Yeah, I just, I this is really motivational. Thank you so much. You're welcome so much. Thank you, thank Dr. Ken Phelps, for the Ken pleasure Phelps. of having us he's, on this he's show. He's kind of attractive. He's not single, is he? Um, Ken is. Uh, he's a man about town. Quite. Um, we've been out with him many nights, and uh, he's the one who's going home with the ladies. Right, Daniel? Yes, multiple ladies yeah. in one night. That's fox thing. That's kind of right up my alley. I, you know, I'm sure if he wakes up, we'll give him your number. Yeah, you're around the same height, so that is good. Yeah, I'd really appreciate that. Okay, thanks a lot, gentlemen. You're Thank welcome. You Thank you. YMAX versus LTE. <laughs> YMAX versus LTE. Now, the problem I have with wireless internet is that I have machines in my brain. I have tiny robots in my brain, and Daniel, what, what is this, um, ultimately, this blanket wireless internet going to do to those small robots that are controlling the thoughts right now? Well, it'll make it easier for the robots in your brain to connect to the internet, and it'll make it a faster internet, and it will allow them to control your mind and your body more effectively so that really Joe Motisi as a human will no longer exist. Okay, so we're looking at something like um, a scanner's kind of movie like reality, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh, but when I think scanners, I think hilarity. That was a comedy. Because yes. yeah, it was a comedy at best. It's kind of like that documentary, Terminator. Do you yes. remember that? I have not seen scanners or Terminator. Okay. So we don't have a movie buff, Kenny. Uh, I haven't seen Scanners. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, so we're, we're back to the robots in my brain that are being controlled by wireless internet. So they can upload any kind of personality. They can upload, they can download, they can send emails. Hello? Oh, we have a caller. No, okay. we don't. We don't. All right, so, so what you're saying is that ultimately the control of my mind is now completely across the internet. That's, that's exactly what I'm saying. Okay, so that, that's ultimately going to be the future of humanity, is this wireless internet that is going to consume us all. And those of us who do not have robots in our brains will be able to hack into the wireless internet that is controlling your brain. Okay, that is good stuff. That is great stuff. 312-738-1845 if you want to join the program. We're talking about the wireless internet revolution. WiMAX versus LTE versus complete mind control. What's on your mind? Kenny Ryder. Um, what's on my mind? Yes. Right now? Yes. Um, well, I think basically this just comes down to uh, what has a cooler name. I think, I think ultimately this debate can be solved by WiMAX or LTE. Now, if it was lightning techno entertainment, 
Like, that sounds cool. But right now, WiMAX is just... Oh, oh, hello, hello, sir. sir. You're on uh, Quite with Dr. Dr. Ken Phelps, Phelps. Joe Motisi, hosting. I want to know, have you ever been to Bohemian Grove? Have I ever been to the Bohemian Grove? Yes. I have not, and Freemasons do not rule the government, sir. Stop reading the internet. Okay. And turn your TV down. Mm-hmm. That was a conspiracy theorist right there. Probably talking about how I, when I said I had robots in my brain. Now, Bohemian Grove, Bohemian Club, are you gentlemen familiar? Kenny Ryder. Not at all, no. Daniel Wode. Bohemian Grove, the restaurant? <laughs> I've been there. It's delicious. I believe he was talking about the Bohemian Club, which is um, one of the many secret organizations that run the world. Kind of like a new world order. Will WiMAX or LTE lead to a new world order? Kenny Ryder. Probably, yes. Daniel Wode. Definitely. Joe Motisi, yes it will. It's a hot topic, actually. New world order. Not only an awesome WCW wrestling team, but also a viable option if WiMAX and LTE takes over this city. What's next? What's next? Daniel Wode. But you were, back to what you were saying, in relation to new world order, do, is there a problem with the old world order? Is my question. Quit trying to change the subject. This is not. This is not. I mean. This is not. I mean, you about. can you can throw out topics left and right, but I'm just saying, world. Maybe the world needs change. Maybe we need WiMAX and LTE. Maybe this isn't a battle. Maybe this is a war. Have we ever? Con has anyone considered the possibility of WiMAX and LTE? Joining forces. Joining forces. To create a Y-Max lightning techno that extravaganza. That doesn't blanket all of Chicago, but blankets all of Chicago and then maybe parts of Indiana. Yeah, like Hammond. And See, now if you bring in Hammond or maybe a Portage into the conclusion, into the entire mix then that's going to completely change the whole spectrum. Because once Indiana involves, we know once Indiana's in, it's over. Kenny Ryder. Uh, Indiana is America's armpit. Agreed. New World Order, Bohemian Club, WiMAX, LTE. What's on the back of your dollar bill? Daniel Wode. The $1 bill? The $1 bill. Is it, is it the signing of the Declaration of Independence? No. There's a pyramid thing. It says WiMAX on the back of your dollar bill. No, it doesn't. It will. Daniel Wode. Yes? Do you have a question for me? This or is a hot topic crossfire kind of conversation. We're <coughs> supposed to be bing, bang, boom. I don't think it says WiMAX on there. I have <laughs> three of them I can check. Will it one day, though? Probably not, no. They don't okay. really change those things too often. Nobody counterfeits $1 bills, so there's no need to. But will they? Daniel Wode. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they will one day. They will one day. We have a caller. They will take over the world. <laughs> All right. 312-738-1845 if you'd like to be part of Quite with Dr. Ken Phelps. I'm Joe Motisi, guest hosting. Topics of today are uh, we're talking about the wireless internet revolution, the technology revolution. I mean... What's next? I mean, are we going to go back to steam? I mean, the kids these days are wearing clothes that looks like they're from another generation. So are we going to start doing that with power? Like, will steam become the new it thing? Hello. Hello. Welcome to Quite with Dr. Ken Phelps. Yeah, hello. How you doing? Good. How are you, sir? Fine. Uh, but uh, I feel what you're talking about. But it's, everybody got their own style and their own way. Other and so you're saying you would you would you would support a steam powered computer? No, not really. Okay. What do you have against steam, sir? Uh, the steam, you know, it's, you know, I I kind of um been watching y'all show for a long time. You know? Well, thank you. I'm sure uh, if uh, Dr. Phelps was awake, he would thank you too. Damn you, Jumbo TC! Damn you to hell! Let's well, shoot some knowledge our way, or uh, he, he's gone. You can hang up too. That's he he could hang up. Hanging up is, is, is it's a it's a viable option. 
Hello, Hello. Hello. turn your TV down, yeah. sir. It's an album back in the Valley Bill. Why he always sleep, the guy with the glasses? This guy's right about the eye thing. Which one? What it's are we talking about here, sir? On the Valley Bill, it's an owl. Yes, the there is. An mm -hmm. owl? This was, the be this was the Bohemian Grove color because the owl <laughs> is part of that. There's yeah. no owl. I can look. The Do you tiny want owl? There's Let's, well, together we will, uh, we will squash this rumor on um, and we can see who television. And has more money. All right, um, sir. Where, where is the owl on the dollar bill, sir? I was calling to find out the topic. The hello, topic sir. today, oh, hello, welcome to the program, Quite with Dr. Ken Phelps. Uh, the topic for today, we're discussing everything from WiMAX versus LTE, which is a wireless technology, and which is the better one for 4G wireless networks, and we were just looking for the owl on the back of the dollar bill. The owl on the dollar bill? Apparently a caller just informed us there were owls on the back of the dollar bill. <laughs> now that, that's a hoot. That's, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a there's an eagle. There's an eagle. But no owl. There's no yeah. There's no owl. There's, an, there's a triangle uh, with an eye in it, but no owl. I thought there was. That's a true. Tiny owl. There's no tiny owl. I thought there was. I thought there was too. May, 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 maybe so these are conspiracy are theories. About themed internet. Um, we Steam? were talking about Steam. technology, oh, yeah. and um, maybe retro technology will come back, i.e., Steam. Okay. Or horsepower. Oh, the horsepower internet. Yes, I, I, I want to. Um, maybe Daniel Wode can clear this up. Horsepowered internet, maybe run ran by Clydesdales. Horsepowered internet. Um, what my company is working on now is a system with multiple pulleys, and the horse will be connected to the pulleys and be put on a large horse treadmill and the pulleys will be connected to buckets filled with sand or water and the pulley system will pull the buckets up and when they get to the top the water and or sand will be poured on top of a large scale and when the scale reaches a certain uh, amount of water or sand then you'll be able to connect to the internet. Hello? Hello, sir. Get your dollars back out. Why? Get your dollars back out your pocket. I'm going to show you where the owl is. You're going to show us the owl? You're going to show us where the owl is. Thank you, yeah. sir. You should have told us to leave him out or not hung up. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's a, all we're doing is trying to, uh, you know. All right, where is, where is the owl, sir? The owl. It is on the back of the... The front of the dollar. The you said back. You said the back of the dollar. Sorry about that. It's on the front of the dollar. In okay. the right hand corner where the serial number is at. The serial the number is not in the right hand right. corner. On the left hand side. Oh, the top one? Left, on the left hand right. side. Okay. Now, all the way in the corner of the, where the dollar bill that you see the outline of it. I see it, sir. You see it? Don't you don't. Yes, it's on the top right. This is next, riveting. Next to the one. Dr. Am I correct? Phelps. Riveting. Or is that a spider? Right here. That's a leaf. It's a no. leaf? Yeah, there's leaves, and then there's a, a, a the number leaf. one. Right in that little <clears throat> with it. With it is, it is so vividly. But it's on the leaf where the dollar meets it. It's the outlining of the dollar where the leaf is. It's an owl sticking up. There's no, that's a leaf. I, I believe you, sir. I'm with you. I see, I see Google the owl. It. Google it when you get home. Google. Now that, that that's is. That's a topic. That's a topic. That's a topic all in itself, Google. 312-738-1845. I enjoy Google. I use, you know, they got Google Maps. Google Maps. That's a good one. Google that's Maps is I a good one. I found my way to the studio tonight. <clears throat> Definitely. Um, Maps.google.com. I'm a huge fan of uh, Google Finance. Believe it or not, you can um, trade stocks without spending money. So it makes you feel like you're somebody, but you're really not anybody at all. You're just pretending. You're pretending to be somebody, and ultimately pretending to be somebody is what the Internet is all about. See, look, that's full circle, folks. Full circles <laughs> on yeah. quite with Dr. Ken Phelps. We have a caller. Hello, welcome. Yeah. Hello. Hey, you 
want to convert sand and water to make internet? Yes, that is um, Dr. Dr. Wode is working on that. Right how now. is this possible? Yeah. Did you not just listen to this explanation? Just, we, we just explained it. But I'm trying to figure out how are you going to convert water and sand? Sir, are you daft? The, are you dumb? The horses, sir. Oh my god. Ex the Do you want to explain horses? it again? The, the horses. How are you guys? How are you guys? All right. No, no, no. The, the horses right, are sir. on the treadmill, sir. The horses on the treadmill? So you got. So you want me to bring a treadmill into my house? And no, this would be located outside of your house. Am I correct, Daniel? The horse. The company will supply them. You don't yes. have to. Don't worry about Ultimately, it. Ultimately, it's a green technology. Am I right? The company goes to fly the horses. Yes, it's it's a green it's a green technology, sir. And like I, for one, am incredibly interested in horse powered internet. It's a. I wouldn't necessarily say it's the wave of the future, but it's definitely a good choice to give the people. You know what? We're going to be sitting here in five years debating horse-powered internet or regular-powered internet rather than WiMAX or LTE. Or Steam. Don't forget Steam. Steam. Steam is a very viable option. We threw that one in the mix, too. I, Steam yeah. always needs to be in the mix. Honestly, um, more things need to be Steam-powered. Yeah. You're never going to run out of Steam. No. Steam isn't made from dead dinosaurs. Mm-mm. It's hot water. It's hot water. Definitely. It's a green technology. And um, hello, we have a call. Will these services be free to the public? Sir, free for uh, the public? Well, you want internet free for the public. Well, why am I yeah. <laughs> Go to Canada. <laughs> uh, a free, free YMAC. If we know, um, the r a normal host of this program is a venture capitalist, I believe, and um, as a venture capitalist, um, I don't think that he would support free internet for the masses. This show is a travesty. Somebody help me! Help me! All right. Maybe we should have, um, <clears throat> as like WiMAX and LTE, like he brings up a good point. Hello. Hello. Well, Welcome yeah, to the program. Y'all I'm what? sorry. Creepy ass show. Creepy. Creepy. We're yeah, we're we're so discussing the future right now, and if the future freaks you out, yeah, that's understandable. What? Horse-powered internet is creepy to you? Horse-powered internet is a green technology. Boy, what the what the hell you got out with that blue shirt? Doctor Ken Phelps is made his money in oil made his money in oil, but oil's going to run out, okay? Uh, all we're saying is, hey, horse-powered internet. <laughs> that caller, <clears throat> they seemed like they were having a good time. Yeah, it seemed like they yeah. were all right. They, you know... Maybe watching some YouTube videos on their internet. Yeah, yeah. on their horse-powered internet. On their horse-powered internet. Watching you funny know videos on YouTube. Horse-powered internet, it's not going to break down unless your horse dies. Yeah. And, and you know what? If your horse dies, that's a meal for a month. Well... We thank you Creepy so much for being a part of and watching our program, Dr. Ken, quite with Dr. Ken Phelps. Look at me, I'm stumbling over my words. I'd like to once again thank Daniel Wode, Dr. Daniel Wode, and Kenny Ryder for being here on this program. And I'd like to thank our incapacitated host, Dr. Ken Phelps. Ladies and gentlemen, tune in every week for Quite with Dr. Ken Phelps. Quite. 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 With Dr. Ken Phelps is on the air. Long live obscenely high oil prices. Turn on the phone. Oh God! I just dreamt I saw Dennis Pizarro. Quite. 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 I, I hope that meant one minute left, and we're not just being morons here. So, I mean, if we are, that just went out on television. Really, it did. So, we looked like, uh, that, that was great. That was wonderful. That was wonderful that we did that ending. Quite, with Dr. Phelps.